What's up, friends? This is Jazz bringing you another episode of Put One Adventure Shred. Last time we took care of that Eevee with three evolutions. Now we are going to face Erica. <laughs> but first, I'm going to go with the Max Repel. Yeah, because I don't want to face any more Pokemon right this yet. Not till after I get that gym badge, anyway. I got some Pokemon already prepared for the next group of battles. Well, not prepared, but I got some Pokemon to put in my new team. Ooh, what's this? Soda Pop? Maybe that'll be useful later. Hint, hint. Alright. I just wanna get to the city. The Celadon City. There we are. Run! Yeah, guys, I think I am um, going to bring you guys back. I'm going to bring it back when I'm healed. There we are. Now let's head to the Celadon Gym, finally, after like forever. For um, finally. You gotta cut down this tree. Yep. Alright. As guardian of the Celadon Gym, I must fight you. Okay then. Duncan? Not like Duncan Donuts. Too bad I have allergies. Donut would sound really good. But really, an Oddish? You're fired, Duncan! That was terrible. Just terrible. Forgive me, I've failed! No, you're not forgiven, you're fired! Out of this gym right now! Yeah, let's- yeah, that's better. You may have finished your errand, but you'll get past me first. Okay. Okay then, Trent. Really? A bell sprout? An even lower level than that oddish? Do I have to fire you too, Trent? Oh, Wind Bell, I guess that isn't as bad. You at least got a one evolved Pokemon on your team. But at the same level as that bell sprout. You get fired, Trent. Forget it, you're fired. You're pathetic too. Yeah, I'm clearly superior. Now, out. People here specialize in grass types. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, and I never would have guessed. I mean, with the gloom and the bell sprout. Oh, it's so lucky I happen to have Krona up front. I mean, I never would have guessed it was a grass gym. Hint of sarcasm here. Although, at least you have two fully, or not fully evolved, but two second stage evolved. Better than Bellsprout and Oddish. But you're still fired. That was pathetic. Oh, and... Um, you already lost, Owen. So a little too late to say that. Hmm. Books, flowers, and a computer? Really? How does that fit into the scenery? Hmm. Eevee reconstruction, what the heck is that? Who are these people? Eevee is a very rare Pokemon possessing the ability to evolve into any of eight highly distinct po advanced Pokemon. Really? Eight? If an Eevee can be reconstructed so that it can be transformed rapidly among all eight of those forms, then it will serve as a very powerful weapon, Erica. You challenged me to a Pokemon battle with this gym badge as prize. You have proved your worthiness, I accept. Cut 
the lies. Your experiment, Evie, escaped. So you got me to look for it. All that lie about me proving I'm worthy to fight you. I don't need your stupid badge. I'm ready. Unless, of course, you're afraid. Yeah, let's go. I've noticed I've gotten much better at editing. And narrating. Really, Erica? Really? Maybe I should be firing your guardian goons. Because they, perhaps you're just as bad. Oh, I guess things got a little more interesting. Tangla is different. And it doesn't evolve until 4th gen. Well, actually, technically, they're talking about 6th gen in this game by having 8 evolutions for Eevee. So maybe Tangla is pop Or, not Tangla. Maybe Tangle growth is possible. But, I highly doubt it. Not... Not with the nair with the what is it? Not with the graphics in this game. Oh, you're kidding me! I'm poisoned out. You're annoying, Tangela. You're just a pest. Bye. Glad to get rid of ya. What else do you got at me? Oh well, okay. Crota leveled up first, so I'll have to find out later. What else do you have to throw at me? The vile room. How can I get Fall Bloom be? I knocked out a Gloom. Yeah, this is not gonna be hard at all. Not annoying at all. Hint the sarcasm. What it? What out? What word do they use for for future events? No, well, there's no antidote. Oh well, or full heal. But yeah, foreshadowing. Yeah, foreshadowing. And foreshadowing. Oh, what? Shit! Oh. I am gonna use that soda pop now! Okay, yeah, yeah, but acid. What else can you throw at me at? Oh! S-O-B! Or B! That's it. You're not a... Man. You're, you're gonna heal spam, aren't you? You you are, aren't you? God. You're not gonna let me have any fun, are you? Ah. Ah, come on, yeah, I could do it, I could do it, I could do you be I'm gonna try to make it more friendlier, yes, I use the out word, but Come on, Krona! Oh lord. Lord, lord, lord. Save me. Oh lord. Wait. You be! Why? This why, Erica? Oh, for God's sake. This is gonna take forever, isn't it? Well, goodbye, Krona. Well, and maybe I underestimated her a little bit. Um, let's fury attack. God damn it. You know what? I, I can't take much more of this seal spam, so I am going to speed this battle up with no music. I'm sorry, but bye. Yeah. You know, I'm going to talk through it. Because that is alright. But you're not he hearing any battle noise. I had to sacrifice that. But I will narrate over it. I mean, this took a hell of a long time. I've drastically shortened this battle by doing this. It would have taken, like, maybe five minutes from where I cut off. Where I'm shortening it to, like, a minute. Or so. A little bit better than a minute. Because it goes on and on forever with full restore moonlight, but now. Like, full restore, see? Yeah, I switched out the Butterfree. And it helps a little bit, but she puts me to sleep. She knocks out not only Weevil and Nintendo, but Krona. 
So I end up using B drone. Here's where I'm back. This, I stopped here because I knew I was going to beat her at this point, or close to this point. Like, I have one more turn and there's no way she can heal up. And she missed sleep powder, so I was lucky there. We finally took care of that bee. And I don't mean a bumblebee. <laughs> Impressive, Jazz. Yeah, press of my foot. It took five minutes or more. How do you like that? That's merely child's play. Follow from attack. Ugh. Ugh. Where is that arrogance I saw before? Hmm. The Eevee you see was an experimental subject for a certain organization. Some days ago, we obtained these reports and learned about the resurrected Eevee that had Constructed had been escaped and thanks to you, it's now safely in our care. Wait a minute, this organization, it's Team Rocket. To have any chance against them, we need to knowledge of their technology. We need to understand their fighting power, and most all, we need a traitor of inner strength, morality, and compassion. A traitor like you. Jazz, ooh, finally we received the rainbow badge. Okay, I'm in. Then let me present you with a weapon that would help you in- Oh! Bullet- That's- Bullet seed, right? That's not gonna help me beat them! Alright. Let's go. I mean, I'm sorry for the speed up in the no game audio at that point, but there wasn't much of a choice. It was way too long. You guys would be killing me for leaving that whole long battle in. And I didn't want that. Uh... Hey, Jazz. Won't it be dangerous taking that there Eevee along with ya? Why would it be? Why? The bad guys are looking for it, too. You'll be bar a bark man. Heck, even the gym's been attacked by psychic Pokemon. Who do you think's behind them? Think what they'll do to little old you. Eevee, from here on out, our journey is going to be dangerous. Let's go. Time to head to Fusion City. On to Fusion City, hey boy, are y'all listening to me? Ah, that y young spirit, eh? Yeah, I wasn't listening to you at all. Sorry, hey. <laughs> Sabrina? So Evie has passed it to that boy's hands. Well, how perfect. Great, so Sabrina's part of it too. Not only Koga, but Sabrina and Lieutenant Surge. Yeah, I knew that already. Before we end off today's episode, though, we're going to go and, you know, get our Pokemon. I'll be back when it's done. And here it is. We have Crota, Eevee. Well, Crota's going to be the leader, Eevee. At a good level, actually, but I still have to level him up off screen. Ooh, he has a fairy move. There's a disarm sound. And... Bonet, what we caught in the tower. It'll be pretty good. He already has a ground move and a headbutt. And finally, Snacks. Snorlax. He has fairy attack as well. A roar of rain. Wonder what that does. 80. Wow. Well, I think I'm good. I think I will end this episode off here in a second. So. Alright, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a huge thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Adventures Red. I will see you guys next time.